And the Cavs, excuse me, the Charge, that is. If you look at their uniforms, it's almost impossible to not call them the Cavs. And now Levi Randolph dumps it down to Bolden in the block as he's posting up Vito. A left-hand jump hook off glass. And he... Tony Carr. Shut off in the lane. Now starts back in. A little high arcing rainbow. And Pointer will try an open three-pointer, and it's off the mark. Rebound Bolden, and he fumbled it once, put it in, and is fouled. Tracked down by Bolden in the corner. But we have some Canton fans in the house here tonight as Abdur Rahman knocks down a three from the corner. But it was Dawkins that time who came over to help out and got a piece of Bolden from behind. So here's Mooney. Down the lane with the dribble drive, and he puts it in. Changed his name to Mac in February 2017. Mooney down low, lost it, got it back. Abdur Rahman fires a three and hits again. 6'3", 195 out of Connecticut. He just checked in. Averaging just under 19 points a game. Tony Carr will launch a three from the corner, and he hits. And Adam Zaviri. Jalen lobs it ahead. Zylan Cheatham with it behind the head jam. Gray bounce pass down low, but he overshot Carr, and here comes Mooney in the other direction. Head mans it down the left side. Pointer with the alley-oop, and Mack lays it in. Run the point on this trip. Of course, last night what he did was just stunning, really, at the end of the second quarter. As Cheatham three from the side. Oh, he knocks it down from the left wing. Sometimes you almost want him to take more threes than he does. Abdul Rockman in the lane with a floater, and he hits again. Cheatham, I should point out, is shooting just 33% from beyond the arc, but seems like he's a little better than that. His car works his way in the lane and puts it in. Gets it to Adams and works down the lane, and they whip it back up top. Lindsay for three, got it. Side of the sign, it says something along the lines of Erie fans want to see Terran's game or something like that. I asked Terran Sullivan as he was, oh, Lindsay hits the three and is fouled by Mooney. <laughs> the interesting is Terran again, he hasn't played in five games, so kind of an out of the blue sign, I guess. On Herndon works between the circles. There's JP Makura who just checked in. Makura 6'5", 205 out of Xavier, drives down the lane. His banker's too hard, but it's tipped in by Herndon. Abdul Rockman drives on Adams. Trapped under the hoop, he finds Sheldon Mack, though, who makes a nice pump fake to get away from Cheatham and lays it in. Started the penetrate, but he's got the switch now. Herndon's on him. And now Lindsay gets it to Sullivan at the right elbow. Little turnaround from eight feet, and he hits. So Josh Gray will crossover move, goes right around Abdur Rockman and lays it in. That is Josh's first bucket of the night. Gets to the big time here through the Canton charge. Carr in the lane, rejected by Mercura. Newman sends it to Mercura. Quick three, right wing, got it. Sort of had some Grayson Allen-like tendencies as a player. In the lane, uh, there's no good by Vito Brown, but put back in by Tony Carr. And Tony Carr corrals it for Erie. Long pass ahead, Lindsay will try a triple from the corner and he hits it. Scotty Lindsay with 10 points. Against Mack, goes around him and Herndon and then zings it out to Carr. Back up top, Terran Sullivan wide open, three and he beats the shot clock with a triple. Kind of patiently surveys the situation, now he's gonna go to work against Carr. He goes right around him, into the lane he goes, can't, yeah he did get it to go. With 7.6 to play in the period. Well, Jalen gets his first bucket of the night, and it's fitting that it comes in the second quarter. That's where he lit it up last time for 20 points. Newman for three. Got it. So Malik Newman's got five points off the bench. So Newman comes down the center of the floor, now bursts toward the bucket, drops it off, and Makura lays it in. Not much going on this possession. Shot clock down to two. Lindsay has to force one up. Can't get it to go, but it's tipped in by Javon Bess. Works his way in, spun, got trapped, but got it over to Tony Carr. Sullivan now down the lane to the rim, and he lays it in. Edwards has the rebound for the charge, lost it, Carr took it away. Here come the Hawks, Adams in transition, goes right to the rim and lays it in. Marquise Bolden back in the game for the charge, but this is Levi Randolph who's going to take a straight on three, and he hits it. Scotty Lindsay lobs it down Los Island. Cheatham's return. He's 
taking it to the rim and he banks it in over Bolden tonight. Never been all that many misses <laughs> actually either. Is Down low, getting loose. Jalen Adams off a nice feed from Lynn. Josh Gray, by the way, at the scorer's table now waiting to check in. Bass drives around a falling Mooney and lays it in. So Levi Randolph. Two-pointer, not down low. Goes to Bolden in the block. Over Cheatham off glass, he hits. I'd have to say 60, 70% of this league are guys that played at more than one college. Pointer off the mark, but Bolden's there for the putback. So the lead back to six for the Bayhawks. Here's Gray to the foul line. Little finger roll, nice move, and he puts it in. Just four points so far for Jock. Kobe Altman and Mike Ganzi just filtering through players trying to find something that sticks. Cheat him down low, puts it in with the left hand. Trail of by eight, two and a half to play here in the first half. Mooney works his way in the lane, and his four footer's good. Mooney. Gets a screen from Herndon, and now lobs it down low to the big man who lays it in. Well, that was over the head of Cheatham. Even he couldn't get up for that one. Here comes Abdur Rockman the other way, down the lane to the rim, and he lays it in. Well, he's got a dozen. Gray works his way into lane. Little shot from five feet short. Cheatham, though, has the rebound and lays it in. Mooney. Up top, that's Herndon for a straight on three, and he got it. Charge prevailing in that one. This is the last meeting between the two this season. It's Lindsay's turnaround, got it to go. To start here in the second half, Aubrey Dawkins has those three fouls, so he begins the third period on the bench. Not sure if that's the reason, but he is over there as Bolden puts it in with the left hand. Hawk still leading by three. Cheat him. Hands it off to Carr, and he's going to pull up from the elbow and knock down a 15-footer. The Bayhawks maintain their advantage. Bolden in the block, and a handful for Cheatham, but then he just threw it off Randolph's face, basically, as Gray goes coast to coast, and Pointer rejects it out of bounds. Just five of nine from the free throw line, and I have to look. I think all of those were for two points, and now... Randolph puts it in. He'll go to the line again. This time it'll be worth one. His three is no good. Sir Dominic Pointer kicks it to Abdur Rockman on the right side. Now it's Mooney for three, and he got it. He had the advantage. They were up by 10 in the early going. Erie led it by eight. And now we've got a tight one at 66-65. Carr in the lane. Nice shot on the move as he puts it in and has 15 now for the night. And now it's going to be Mooney up top. <laughs> Changed his mind and throws one up from 14 feet and hits it. He's looking to get rid of by one. Carr tried to find Cheatham, but he threw it behind him. Abdur Rockman will bring it up for the charge. Does not have numbers, but it's going to be Randolph. Nice bounce pass down low. McCure lays it in. And a quick timeout. Bayhawks still down by three. As Dawkins will try a triple, and he hits it. So, 10 to shoot it. Here's Matt Mooney. Nice quick crossover moves. He goes down the lane against Adams and lays it in. Did give him a little forearm. Herndon will try a three left side and he hits. Alan Herndon's got a pretty sweet stroke. He's got 12 points here tonight. Now Randolph. Vito Brown's back in the game with those four fouls, by the way. It's Newman on the baseline. Tough 12-footer and he got the bounce. Here comes McCure right in the break. And now Randolph sends it back outside to Newman. Down low, Randolph, three pump fakes and a layup. <laughs> Suddenly has a four point advantage. Down low, Vito Brown has it poked away, gets it back and puts it in. Adams drives on Makura, little fade away from seven feet, he hits it. So Bayhawks have it back down by two. Adams down low, Cheatham lays it in. We're tied once again. When gets away from Lindsay and then lobs it to Makura. He's gonna drive baseline on the move. He puts it in. Nine points for JP Makura. Down to four seconds to play. He drives on Makura, goes around him, gets to the rim and lays it in. Too many shots end up in that part of the 
apparatus is Adams with the alley-oop, and Dawkins throws it down and is fouled. Boy, I thought there was a shot at first along the baseline and threw that one down. Kicks it to the corner. Lindsey, tough three with a hand on his face. No good, but Dawkins is the offensive rebound and is fouled as he puts in the follow. So Bolden picks up his third foul. Another conventional three-point play. Just now, Jalen Adams. Get him in their half-court set. Here he led by eight in the first half. They've never had a double-digit lead until now as Adams hits the triple. Hits it out to Sheldon Mack. Mack leans in to cheat him, draws the foul, and hits the shot. Into the corner, very good ball movement. As Lindsey, or excuse me, Cheatham is fouled and lays it in. With the weak side rebound, but he threw away the outlet. Nice play by Abdul Rockman, and down low it goes to Mack, who banks it in. You know, he has point blank range there, too, as Mack at the other end puts it in as Cheatham hustled all the way back and almost blocked it. And it is a 10 point eerie lead. There's a nice. Feed from Lindsay to Adams, and in the corner, Dawkins for three, got it. Jet 24 and Fox 66, nothing really to report, however. Nothing has changed since last night. As Randolph drives in and puts it in with the left hand. Adams straight on three-pointer, no good, but flicked out by Cheatham. Now Lindsay will try an open three, and he hits. Are some inherent disadvantages to being an expansion team. First of all, you don't have any returning players for starters. Levi Randolph knocks down the three. Actually, no, you know what? That, they're battling for the sixth spot, so it would appear, anyway, that the charge would actually play Grand Rapids. A 13-point lead for the Bayhawks, and here's a steal. Lindsey off to the races. He's going to take it himself and lay it in. 17 points now for Scotty Lind. Vito Brown up top. Shot clock down to seven. Now Bess... Kicks it to Adams. He'll try a three, and he got it. Now with 24 points to lead the way, Bayhawks with a 16-point lead. Randolph down the lane with a dribble drive, and he puts in the teardrop on the move. Adams pass deflected, but Vito Brown has it. Goes down the lane, and he's stripped. Three on one. Dawkins the only man back. Randolph dishes, and laying it in is Sheldon Mack. Across the timeline against Mooney. And now he shoots right down the lane, acrobatic layup, and he puts it in. 26 points here in the fourth quarter. Mooney will try a three. That's short. Rebound, though, Levi Randolph. Now Abdur Rockman knocks down a three. He's got 15. The lane he goes, he just throws it up in the air. He tried to hit Doggins with an alley-oop, but overshot him. Here comes Mack in the other direction, and Pointer's got a wide open look and nails a triple. That is his first bucket of the night. And they trail it by eight, make it six as Pointer gets loose in the lane. And it's the play, shot clock down to seven. Adams tees up a long three ball and he hits it. Big shot for Jalen Adams there and now he has 29 on the night. Jalen has a rebound. Long pass ahead, Vito ahead of the pack with a cherry pick and he dang jams it home. People uh, with pocket protectors to figure out, I'm not exactly sure what the data is on that. Adams gets all the way down near the rim and banks it in. Set the shot clock at 14, but that really doesn't matter a whole lot at this point. Matt Mooney will go in and lay it in. And the Bayhawks can now Dribble it up. We have one back-to-back -back game. Ziri wins it 123 to 115. They improved to 13 and 29 on the season. The Canton Charge sees its seven-game winning streak come to an end here tonight.